are here at the end of the first of what we hope will be many Israel conferences with David Blumberg of Blumberg Capital. So first off, what are your general thoughts about, uh, about how things went today? Thanks. Uh, it was a lot of fun to be here. It was a good mix of people, and it was a good mix particularly of Hollywood meets Silicon Valley, which is a very good thing to do. We need to do more of it. Um, the digital media world requires two parts, the media and the digital, and I think we know a little bit more about the digital, and you know certainly a lot more down here about the media. So we, we liked it very much. Um, I met a lot of people that I would not meet in other typical uh, conferences that are very focused on one sector. This had a lot of different kinds of people. It had entrepreneurs, investors like myself. We I run a venture capital fund that invests both in U.S. and Israeli companies. There were a lot of Israelis here. There were a lot of Americans, and there were international crowd as well. There were strategic investors like Intel and Itachi and other big companies. So it was a good mix of uh, everything, mm -hmm. plus the press. Right. Do you uh, do you feel like you made most of your new contacts with the Israelis or with Southern California? It's hard to tell. People move around a lot. I think some people live permanently on airplanes. Mm -hmm. But I think most of them were Israelis transplanted to L.A. Mm -hmm. uh, the Israelis that came over from Israel, I know most of them from Israel. Mm -hmm. And they're mostly venture capitalists and so on. Most mm -hmm. of the entrepreneurs seem to be local. Or the interesting model is that the headquarters are here where you face and touch the market. And the engineers stay back in Israel where it's coster and they're more loyal. There's this poaching of uh, talent there. Mm -hmm. So, did you take away, uh, based on what you saw today, any changes in how you view the relationships between uh, the VC community and the entrepreneurial community, or between uh, California and Israel? Yes. Well, again, I'm, I have a great appreciation, greater appreciation now for the dynamism of the LA community, especially in the realm, again, of digital media. It's an area that we have to interact with more because you understand the consumer, I think, better fundamentally than some of us up north. And um, Israelis need to tie into that as well because Israelis often are very technically competent but don't necessarily have the touch of the consumer. So Israelis who transplant to LA get that by osmosis. And so I saw a lot of interesting things today and, and yesterday at the speaker's dinner that uh, have intrigued me. I mean, several companies I'm going to want to come up and present to us in, in San Francisco. So can we expect you at the next conference if there is one? I would be delighted. Mechalet, as they say in Hebrew. <laughs> Thanks very much, David. Tada. Thanks. Mm -hmm. So why am I here? And why are you watching this? It's Jeff Pulver. <laughs> hey, and uh, today where I am, I'm in like Los Angeles at this conference, the Israel conference, and hmm. Turns out, I don't have to fly to Tel Aviv to be inspired by great Israeli innovation. Because for some reason, on this particular day, Israel came to Los Angeles. And it's been an amazing opportunity to reconnect with friends and make some new ones and really see what's happening in the world of the now. And um, there's no place on earth I ever go to to be inspired other than it's not Silicon Valley. I'm sorry, guys. It happens to be the greater Tel Aviv area. Because it's the only place on earth I know where people work not only 24 by 7, but they have this amazing can-do attitude that like anything, and frankly everything is possible. Most, not all, but most of the consumer innovations that you're experiencing today in your life have actually been touched by, influenced by, or actually created in Israel. And what I'm always in awe of are the people who can affect our lives. And you were standing right next to them, you don't realize what superstars they really are. Here they're just people. And it's been an absolutely wonderful opportunity to get to know some folks catch up with old friends and see where things are going and it turns out if you do want to be inspired if you can't get to Tel Aviv and catch up with the latest hottest tool, cool technologies you gotta make it a point to come to Sharona's event and come to the Israel conference next year because um, chances are what was 500 people this year will be shut down by the fire marshal next year but we won't tell anyone but make sure you come and get your reservations early and uh, reach out to Sharon. I'm Jeff Pulver from jeffpulver.com, and hey, uh, catch up with you some other time. Bye. Hi, my name is Ram Moskowitz. I'm here as an investor. I'm always looking for new adventures, and uh, I think I've seen some couple interesting ideas for future investments. Uh, startup technology companies or what business? Uh, basically, startup technologies or medical uh, equipment. 
and I'm sure that uh, something will come up from this day. Please. And you mentioned that you had a portfolio company here as well, yes? The company that I, so far that I invested is in IQ Technology, and they are involved in the educational toys market. Mm -hmm. So any uh, any interesting bites here for future investments or more partnerships and people you might collaborate with? You know, I I've heard a lot and need to do my homework, my research, and we'll take it from there. But great. Sure, I had a great time. Thank Thanks you very, very much. much. Of I know a ton of techie, techie guys that are here, and I'm trying to get my company up and running called Startup Army. We build, yeah, I actually was drawn by the name. Yeah, we build up, we build, we accelerate products and companies, and, and so for me personally, it's a good environment to be in, like more entrepreneurial. It's less of a uh, my typical tech crowd, and so for me, this understanding, like just doing work. What, the, what they need is requirements, that's just part of the job, but on a higher level, like building companies, getting like understanding where the money is coming from and how that works, and how we grow so and scale. VCs here as well? Some, yeah, some, we're, we're finding, um, we're, we've developed like a vetting process to try to identify, because really the, the big problem for us is we need a certain level of cash just to live, especially for maybe the more junior people, the younger people that are on our team, but then we also want to get, we don't want to, we call it like low margin, we don't want to undercut the value of what we're offering because nobody has any money. So we're trying to, a big part of what we do is partnering with different groups that, you know, do enough of the architecture, enough of the planning that they can then get the funding and move forward. So that's one of our models. Obviously, if we can get, you know, VCs is, would be good because they could have a bigger war chest, but then that's a whole other set of, you know, like if you go to like a three to eight million dollar round, they already want their full-time tech staff, so you have to find a way to, we have to find a way to work with that. So. It's pretty cool though. So, so are you open to splitting that up where some of the tech staff? Yeah, so we're the yeah, start of our yeah, yeah. We're we're kind of a collective and it's just whoever the best resources are we bring them in. Yeah, it's a great name. Thank you. Have you thought of, have you thought of using uh, military titles for your uh, instead of CTO? We have, and, and we, uh, we we came up with everybody being generals, and then we realized that that's probably not cool for the website. So we're actually rethinking that. Yeah, yeah. Cool. like too many cooks in the kitchen like that. Right? Yeah, we're like, well, you don't have any, uh, you know, too many chiefs, not enough squads. Right, right. Like, uh, you know, who's going to build it? Like, yeah, that's a good question. Yeah, right. Right. Well, we'll build it. We'll take care of that. So. Yeah. <laughs>